I want to make an amazing base, but I don't trust my friend, so I want to keep it a secret. Oh, what's that? A lever? Oh, would you look at that secret base? Well, for me, it's just a void, but for you, it could be a secret base. What is up, guys? It is Farzy here, and today I'm gonna teach you how to make an amazing hidden 2x2 two two door in the ground that totally covers itself up. Check it out. That is awesome. So for this build, you're gonna want some sticky pistons, some redstone dust, some repeaters, a lever, and the same kind of block as your ground. In my case, it's grass. So first things first, go find the place you wanna have your 2x2 two two door at. In my case, I'll do it right here. So break out a 2x2. Two now in this hole, break down two more blocks for a total of a three deep hole. Now pick which way you want to walk in from. So if I'm going to walk in from this direction, these two are going to be our sides, right? So go to your sides, go down here, and you're going to break the bottom blocks and put two sticky pistons facing upwards. Now break the two blocks on top of those pistons, the two behind that, and then finally the two under that. Now fill in this two by two hole back here with sticky pistons pistons facing ourselves so just like this same thing on the other side sticky pistons facing ourselves and to make it easier to see I'm just gonna break all these blocks right now now obviously you don't have to break all these grass blocks above but I recommend you do it makes your life a lot easier so here we go the pistons are all set up now go to each side go behind these two upper pistons and break two blocks below just like this so you can go down one below where the pistons are. And in this small hole here, place down two redstone repeaters, each of them with two ticks on. So once again, on the other side, you're gonna break down two blocks behind your top pistons, redstone repeaters, both of them two ticks. Now behind your repeaters, break down two blocks as well and put down some redstone dust. Now by the way, if you're getting stressed out by all this, just take a deep breath, okay? It's not that hard, it looks complicated, but it's gonna be easy, okay? So take a breath and let's keep going. So on your front and your back side, we're going to break this entire wall of blocks down by three. So basically you're gonna have kind of like a moat on each side of your pistons and obviously do that on both sides so it's gonna look like this all your redstone stuff in the middle and a three down little hole on each side like so now take out your redstone dust loop it from the back down up to this upward piston at the upward piston put a redstone repeater with no ticks on okay so for all four of these upward pistons you want a repeater and then the redstone looping from the back now make sure all your repeaters are facing towards the middle so both of these sides should be facing opposite ways meeting in the middle okay now after that take out some grass blocks and you're gonna place down two blocks here between the two repeaters just like that now the final redstone piece to this is to connect these redstone wires with each other. So basically go to each piece of redstone here before the repeater and just dig a little kind of like worm, a little hole around the other side and just match up the redstone right behind the repeater. So this should be really simple, but just to clarify, you don't need to break all the redstone, all the blocks and whatnot. Just make sure that both sides of redstone wire meet up with each other. Now I'll pause here for one second. Just make sure your machine looks like this. Once again, you got our repeaters facing the right way, our pistons, our redstone being all connected out the sides. Looking good. If any of that was confusing, comment down below. I'll be happy to help you guys out, okay? But anyways, now it's time to put more grass blocks on top of your upward facing piston. So two grass blocks there, two grass blocks there. And you're gonna see if I just put like a lever down here somewhere, just like right here, for example, this thing works, it works perfectly, it's great, but you wanna have the lever somewhere up above. So very simply, on your front or back side, just take a little piece of redstone here and just bring it up by one. It can really be anywhere, but somewhere towards the middle is probably better for your sake, but just bring a little bit of redstone up. Then above that, put down a lever, and boom, you're gonna see, it works. Now you might have this issue where if you have your lever too far to the side, you may not get the thing working right. And that's because the redstone in this corner up here is not getting enough power. So the easy way to fix that is obviously put the lever in the middle, not on the side. But if you do wanna keep it there on the side for whatever reason, you're gonna wanna put some repeaters here going each way. That way we have more strength. So now do it again and boom, we're fixed. But again, for the sake of not having to do these extra repeaters, I recommend you just keep it somewhere in the middle, like I'll do mine right over here, put lever over here, and boom, works fine. Whip, hold on. 
There we go, much better. And the final step is turn it on and patch up all the other blocks. All right, now for one final test, does it still work? Yes, it does. And also, check it out. I made a small base down here. A little secret base. It looks great. Now, one thing I do recommend is you do make another way to get out, like a secret door out the back, like a secret staircase into like a forest or something, because there's no good way to get out of here. You can't just climb back up here. If you put ladders down, the pistons will break it. So you definitely want to have a secret escape plan. So check it out. Here's my escape plan. When I go inside, I have a little bit of a secret ladder system back up here into a little fake mountain. So get creative with it, have some fun, hop out here, then I can go close my base up. I also could just do this when I first go in and go back in and be super safe, put a block back on top or whatever you want to do. Just giving you ideas, it's really up to you. But the point is, guys, that's how you make a cool secret base in Minecraft. Now for one final note, if you do want to make a more elaborate escape plan than just a little ladder system, I do have some other piston door ideas, so I'll link some of those down below if you want to go get experimental with things. But anyways, thanks so much for watching, make sure to like, subscribe, do all the good stuff, and I'll talk to you guys next time. So until then, goodbye.